Party Gang. It's your boy with the fat swaggin' reacts. And we are back with another reaction video, man. And shout out to the homie Sir Spooks, man. If you guys checking this video out, man, I like this is scary hour, man. I drop one of these every night at midnight, man. Again, we're gonna be checking out a Sir Spooks video, man. This is uh, five scary videos like you should not watch before bedtime. And y'all know. I dropped this at midnight. So we finna go ahead and get into this. Please make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Or like get this video to 200 likes. We can go ahead and drop another one um, tomorrow, gang. So without further ado, like, let's get into this thing. Let's rock. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos you should not watch before bedtime. Today's sponsor is Wicked Clothes. Duck. All of a sudden, I'm standing there in front of the mirror on my white shirt thinking, Damn, I suck. All of a sudden, someone rang the doorbell. It was Death himself. He told me I had 48 hours to get some wicked cool shirt, gonna accept it, and I took life. Thank if you start at 10 on check. Over on the subreddit, unexplained photos, reddit user named blackbird9251 shared a creepy video and is asking for any help on what could have possibly caused the events in the video to happen. The uploader thankfully provides us with a bit of context saying, I got this from my girlfriend today. This footage is from her cousin's workshop. I uploaded what I got, but the activity happens right after the 2 minute mark and right at the end. So, what kind of activity is Blackbird talking about? Well, let's have a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! If this video is indeed real, then I have no idea what could have caused this ukulele to And then again, bro, like we never know it could be a string attached. But then again, like how can the string be that accurate to just sit it up like that and then it you know I'm saying I don't I don't know man. Indeed real, then I have no idea what could have caused this ukulele to move around all on its own like that. Right. Because the manner in which it moved was incredibly unnatural understandably causing some to believe it was being moved by a spirit. The cousin who owns the workshop said that the shop alarm went off three times in the middle of the night. But every time he checked the footage, nobody was there. But when he checked the footage, this is what he saw captured on the tape. So, what was moving this ukulele? I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments. Dominic Matikian posted a video to his TikTok account which seemingly just shows him relaxing in his bed and unwinding for the day. But as you will soon find out, this day was anything but relaxing for Dominic. Oh, While he's laying down, he hears something both disturbing and also plain annoying for anybody that is trying to get some rest after a long day at work. So without further ado, let's have a listen and see what is bothering him. So it's whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, yo, ain't no way. Ain't nobody finna be banging on my door. Ain't, bro, y'all already know my slogan, bro. You you coming and banging on my door like that, you finna catch what? A few hot ones. Ain't no way. No way. You not finna be banging on my door like this, bro. What? Now you better be the police. So without further ado, let's have a listen and see what is bothering him. So it's literally three in the afternoon, oh, and it's been happening more during the day, and it's just not no way. scary. It's just it's not this, it's really bro. Ain't no way, bro. Like that could literally happen any time throughout the day, bro. And ain't no way. Just it's just a banging on my door. Crazy at this point. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I just I can't take this anymore. 
with banging noises on the door that loud, you would suspect that there obviously has to be somebody behind the door knocking that much. Right. But as you can see, there was nobody behind Dominic's door. No or maybe the video had a clever cut somewhere. Or a friend of his behind the door managed to quickly hide before Dominic opened the door completely. No. What do you think was causing these loud banging noises? Be sure to let me know all of your theories in the comment section. When you are in the shower, you really don't expect anything unusual to happen. But as the movie Psycho and this video by TikTok user Maldine Anna White go to show, that is not always the case. What the hell is this? I only have one baby at my house today, the rest of them Hello. are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I've been on edge ever since I took a picture and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on and record dot this is not my dad, I don't know what it is. I know you've seen it move before and after I gasp. Who are you? Hello. Anna clarifies that the baby you look. I don't know, man. Like I feel like, if, like is that a door right here that we're looking at? Like if she would have opened the door and then nothing would have been there, then I, I don't know, bro. I really don't know with this one, bro. Like I want to say hoax, but I don't know, man. Like if she would have opened the door or something, then I would have said, all right, now that's creepy. I don't know looking at is not her baby and says that she only has one baby and that it is in an entirely different room and if you look carefully you can even see it move slightly at some point. Yeah, Anna it. says that ever since this incident happened she has been on edge and judging from the looks of things she has yet to fully understand what it was that she saw that day. By all accounts it absolutely looks like a baby right down to the shape and size of it. But that's impossible because Anna has one baby and it was in a different room when this video was filmed. Where did this strange baby come from and how did it get inside Anna's bathroom? It is weird. It's a mystery we may never solve. An Arab YouTuber is doing an outdoor exploration of a creepy looking area in the middle of the night presumably looking for something of interest to show his subscribers. For the first 20 minutes or so of the exploration, the man is unable to find anything of real interest. The area that he's looking around seems to be as quiet as can be, seeing as how it is in the middle of the night and there aren't any cars or pedestrians walking by, which makes sense. But towards the end of the video, the uploader finds something truly horrifying that I'm sure he wasn't expecting. Hey, you, Allah, you. Yo, 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 what the fuck is that? Hey, you, you. Salamu alaikum. Yo, what the fuck? Ain't no way in it. Bro, get the. Bro, what is that? Bro, it's like we're red eyes looking dead at you. And you just sit. No, it's time to go. Ain't no way I would have been still looking. Ain't no way. Then again, it could be someone that they know. Like, we don't know this. Like, we don't know none of this. But, but like, from the outside looking in, this looks crazy to me, bro. You want to be in the... Nar. Yeah, you know. راسي يا عمي مش متحمل بس لا اله الا الله اعوذ بالله عيونه طول كثير والله العظيم باي يا الله يا الله طب شو بيعمل هيك بصير في عيده عيونه بيضوجن بزياده يا الله عيونه بيضوجن راسي راسي يا الله يا الله يا ابوي عيونه شو بسوي شو يا الله رمى رمى عصايته
معقول بدنا يا ابوي عيونه يا الله يا رب لا يا عم شو معلش بقشر يا الله بقشر غاد يا الله ما لا يا عم شو معلش بقشر يا الله بقشر غاد يا الله ما لحقتش يا زلمة Although most people would run and flee from the scene as soon as they saw this creepy looking figure, this YouTuber proceeds to shine a flashlight on the figure and its glowing red eyes for quite some time. And the figure seemingly looks at the camera the entire time. The first time I watched this video, I fully expected this entity to come chasing after the YouTuber, but it never does. It merely stands up top of the cliff and never does anything to harm the uploader. Even still though, I would like to think that if you stumbled upon this figure in the middle of the night, you would not only run home, but you'd probably have nightmares for weeks. I know I'm, hey, shh. <laughs> I wouldn't even been out there, so... I wouldn't even been out there. I know y'all want me to do it, but nah. Nah. The Paranormies are quickly rising YouTube channel and it's not hard to see why so many people are starting to catch on to their videos. They often upload interesting and creepy exploration style videos, as well as other chilling paranormal related content to scratch your horror itch. In this video, the group are venturing out to a terrifying ghost motel located near East Brain Tree in southeastern Manitoba. A couple of minutes into the video, the group are situated in a small room, getting equipment ready and making an attempt to contact the dead. Not too long into the attempt, this happens. The same voice at the table, leave. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I like I felt it on the ground, like something hit the ground. Should we go check it out? I think we just keep doing what we're doing. I'm just gonna go check because to me it sounded kind of like it came from the bathroom. Okay, I just thought we were finally actually getting some like piece of response. Keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? A couple of minutes later, they start to explore the kitchen area of the motel, which looks surprisingly intact despite a little bit of a mess. But while exploring, two creepy things happen that are completely unexplainable. Okay, thank you. Can you tell us on the ovulus what your name is? That was me. Warm. Warm? Warm. Are we getting warmer? <laughs> it may have been a little hard to hear, but what sounds like an entity says the word warm on the ovulus device after one of the crew members asks what its name is. But that was not the only time in the video in which something chilling happens with the ovulus device. A little while later into the investigation, this can be heard. On these TVs by now. I wonder if that bush cam is catching anything. Jaden. Whoa. It said Jaden right before that happened. Is there a My third? My knees are shaking. Holy shit, dude. I know that this building's falling apart, but that still doesn't make sense. At this point, they are probably getting a little unsettled by everything going on, but nevertheless, they move into one of the bedrooms to take a look. While inside, they spot something both fascinating and creepy on one of the windows. Oh, shit. I'm gonna stop. There's a handprint on the window. Oh, it is a handprint on the window. It's a big ass handprint, too. Whoa, that's creepy. Like something was dragged. Oh. It does look like that. Yeah, marks? it looks like, yeah. That's messed up, man. A couple of minutes later, 
while they are looking into the bathrooms, something else catches their attention. Take a look at this. You hear that? That's Lorraine. That's Lorraine. This is the first real time that we heard Lorraine going off when we weren't in the same room. There's been moments like Hangman's Church where we are 100 feet away and she'd gone off, but we strongly believe at this point that she's going off due to our flashlights. This time is a lot different. Oh, also another thing to note on is that my phone died almost immediately after Lorraine went off when we were in the other room. Mm. We'd been changing out batteries and I had pockets full of batteries all night that we were changing with cameras, flashlights, even the big light that we had that's supposed to run for eight hours died in about two and a half hours. Mm. Oh, is that us this time? That was that would have been me. After this, it seems like the crew are only going to explore a little bit longer, and then they will finally pack their things and go. But before they are able to leave, they are given one last scare to go with them. Look at this. I don't know where it went. It must be. Do you only have the spirit box? No, it must be in a different room. Hang on. I'm gonna go grab it. Oh, oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, no, oh. no. They tried to lock you in there. Get out of there. Time to go. Time to go. What was that? Can you tell me on the obulus? Holy shit, dude. That camera would have caught That camera would have caught it. Unholy. Unholy? unholy? It said unholy. <laughs> oh, oh no. man. Yo. Out of I'm going in this room. To me, this seems like a terrifying motel that you wouldn't want to visit. Right. Oh my god. What the? Oh. Be me. And be that me, was though. five scary videos you should hey, not watch no before bedtime. Way. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. Definitely my name is Sir Spook. Subscribe to the channel. Shots out to Sir Spooks, man. Now, now, I ain't gonna lie, the last, I mean, last video we did of Sir Spooks, it wasn't that scary. This one definitely made up for it. Now, I said, this one was pretty creepy. I really enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys thought about this, man, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you guys don't miss another one. I drop another one for y'all at midnight. Like, leave me some suggestions down in the comment section as well, like what, what other channels to check out, because we normally do chills, Sir Spooks, um, um, obviously Nukes Top 5s, um, but we also do, um, Slap Ham as well. So let me know what other channels to check out, gang, and I'll, and I'll definitely be back tomorrow with another one, all right? And SRT, gang, I am out this thing, man. Let's get it.